It's important to properly dispose of unwanted medication or sharps. MedProject offers free and convenient disposal options near you. To learn more, call 844-MEDPROJECT or visit medproject.org. Get great savings throughout the store at Safeway. This week at Safeway, get value packs of USDA Choice Boneless Beef Tri-Tip Roast, untrimmed twin packs for $3.97 per pound with digital coupon. Plus, get Whole Signature Farms Turkey, 10 to 15.5 pound grade A for $8 each or 16.1 to 22 pound for $10 each. Member price with a minimum $50 purchase. Limit one per household while supplies last. Also this week at Safeway, has avocados are 10 for $10, member price. Visit Safeway.com or head in store for more deals. Okay, folks, uh, this is Who Did You Boycott Today. I'm getting ready to do a re-recording of one of my Twitter spaces on the 20th of July. Uh, this, The title of this uh, audio room was uh, America is a Bully to Black People. Will Black People Show Unity Power? Uh, I'm going to be uploading this re-recording to my uh, podcast. And uh, this is what I'm going to be doing uh, going forward. I'm going to be going over most of my uh, audio and video recordings that I have made over the past two years. And I'm going to re-record them and upload them to my uh, new podcast, Who Did You Boycott Today? Uh, so stay tuned uh, for uh, more content. And I uh, thank you for taking the time to listen. Here we go. Here we go. I'm getting ready to make a short recording. I uh, hope it'll be a short recording for those who want to come back and listen to it. Uh, have at it. This message is not for it so much for the people because nobody comes in my room my room is avoided like the plague so this message is for America America is a big bully a big bully and until melanated persons decide they're tired of being bullied by this America They're going to continue to be bullied until they go to their grave. So decision is is for every person. Every person has to make a decision. They have to look in that mirror and decide, are they tired of being bullied by America? It's, It's your decision to make. Nobody has to put a gun in your head. You just simply have to look in that mirror and decide whether or not you're tired of being bullied. Because it's apparent that that's what's been going on since 1619, from the very first ancestor that stepped off the slave ship, all that was already here. Since folks seem to be confused about that part, Negroes were already here before Christopher Columbus landed or any of those other pink people, subpar people. I would not be calling them white supremacy because no one is supreme to me. Not any walking human being on two legs is supreme to me. I don't know how in God's name we ever got on that brain trip that we started using a word to reference them as white supremacy, like they really are supreme human beings. I tell you, programming is real. When folks say that propaganda and programming is real, it's real. It is real as real can get. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, it certainly is. This message is for America, like I said, it's for all the subpar Caucasian people, the subpar pink people, the subpar Caucasians and white people that they go by at different times. 
This message is for all the bullies out there that been having a good old time bullying uh, melanated persons who are brown and dark skinned, not only in America, but around the world. This has been, y'all have just had y'all way of bullying anyone whose skin color is brown or dark brown. Well, your time is back, is about up. Yes, I think it's about up. I think folks are gonna, are very close to getting fed up. Like myself, my mother used to use that word a lot, fed up. <laughs> so I got kind of used to wanting to use it too. Yes, I did. <laughs> I like hearing my mom say that word, fed up. Well, Negroes, um, Pan-Africans, uh, Africans, are you fed up yet? I just want to know. Send me a DM if you're fed up. Yeah, let me, let me, that's a good idea. Send me a DM. I want any person who is fed up with getting bullied to send me a DM and tell me tell me about it. Uh, let's unify together. Let's unify. We need to get together. We need to we need to rub elbows. We need to chop it up. Yeah, I need I need to link up with all the folks who are fed up with being bullied. <laughs> let's have a good old party. Okay. I look forward to that party. I want to I want to invite everyone to the party. It's a celebration. A celebration of stop being bullied by America. We going to all come together and celebrate how we going to stop being bullied by America. It's going to be the party of the century. I hope so. Well, that's 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 what I'm on. I'm on that trip. I, I'm on. I'm on on the. Uh, I'm just gonna keep right on thinking about how I can uh, cause America consequences and pain for all the harm that they have done to myself and my ancestors and my people with brown and dark skin. Yes, let me say that one more time. I am I am convinced that the good Lord has kept me here to make sure that I can give out some consequences and pain to America for being a bully against me, my family, my bloodline, my uh, Pan-African, my African and all melanated persons with brown skin and dark skin around the world. I am convinced that the good Lord kept me here for that purpose. I, 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 I have no doubt about that. That my Heavenly Father has given me peace at the calling my mom away from the world. That I have not I felt nothing but peace since that day. The day that I was told that my mom would have 30 days left to live, the Lord came over me and gave me peace so that I wouldn't fall apart, that I wouldn't lose my mind. And I, you know, I, I, I try to understand, you know, what my purpose is. And uh, my understanding is that is to, to expose the evil of those that have done harm for over 400 years to descendants of slaves who have done evil around the world in the Caribbean, the African continent, on all four corners of the earth. They have been on a campaign, a mission to cause pain, 
suffering, death, murder, everything that you can think of that's horrible. They've been on that mission. And so it's time up for them. It's time for those of us who want a better life for ourselves and our kids and their kids to say we're not going to tolerate being bullied any longer. That if enough of just those who feel that way come together, we will be able to apply enough pressure and consequences and pain to make things better. I am convinced of that. I have no doubt in my mind that enough like-minded persons with that mindset come together, whether you are a descendant of a slave person in America, whether you are from Caribbean or from the African continent, if enough of us come together, we'll be able to stop America from bullying, not only over here on this landmass, but around the world. America, it's, it's, up, it's time up for America bullying and all the rest of the nations that help America bully. Because I remember growing up in junior high school and high school, and uh, when I would walk the hallways and be in my community, I would see somebody getting picked on. I never, I never could take that. I always had to step in. I either, I just could not stomach it. I was fortunate. I didn't have to get bullied. I had a big enough family, <laughs> so they, so they, didn't, they didn't. The devil didn't tell them to pick on on any Johnsons and, and Presleys. Yeah, you can go to Fayetteville, North Carolina today. And, and, and ask about the Johnsons and the Presleys. They probably still know about us. Well, I know, I know my, I know my cousins are still there. Most of the Johnsons have moved away from Fayetteville, but our reputation is still there. So I didn't have to worry about being bullied. So my, my, th- my, my, my job was to step in and make sure nobody else got bullied around me. So that's what I'm I'm doing this space for today. To send a message to America, you're gonna have to stop bullying melanated persons with brown skin and dark skin. I hope to God that every person that have melanated skin will look in the mirror and decide that they're tired of being bullied. They're fed up with being bullied by America whether you come from the continent or you are from America, or you from the Caribbean, uh, Jamaica, Haiti, Bahamas, Europe, Canada, wherever it may be, if you are looking in the mirror and you have melanated skin, then you have been bullied by America, either directly or indirectly. And I'm just kind of fed up with folks spending all this time on these social media platforms talking, 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 and ain't dishing out any consequences. They not dishing out any consequences. All I all I all witnessed in the past two years since I came a part of this madness, because I've only been a part of it for two a little over two years. And I never could have anticipated this type of madness when I decided to down to start engaging with these social medias three days after COVID. Three days after COVID, my life turned upside down. And I decided to get on social media. Why in the in God's name did I let the devil tell me to do that? I don't know why I let the devil tell me to log into my social media accounts, but I did. And I started logging in regularly. And uh, to a certain extent, I think I'm a little hooked, but I'm getting ready to unhook myself (laughs) just as fast as I hook myself to it. I'm getting ready to unhook myself. I I, I am going back to my own life in some way, in some way, fashion. Because I'm just not uh, going to take part in this madness. I think talking is important. Talking is very, very important if we get results from from that time that we spend together talking to each other. 
But if we're just spending time yelling and cursing and, 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 and day after day and, and, and it's not helping to stop us getting locked up, if talking is not helping us to stop getting killed, if talking is not helping us to stop being, becoming homeless, if talking is not helping us to stop being jobless, if talking is not helping us with all the other multiple ways that they are attacking us, I need I need to close my mouth. I don't know about anybody else. Uh, I can only speak for myself, but uh, me personally, it's clear that I need to close my mouth if I can't give, dab out some consequences and pain for uh, all the bullying that I am uh, experiencing from America government and uh, America racism, America discrimination, America, every way that they are attacking and systematically uh, genociding the Negro population in America systematically how they are genociding the melanated race around the world in uh, Jamaica, Haiti, Bahamas, all of the Caribbean nations, all of the continent, all around the world. America has been on a mission to, to, uh, to kill and destroy, to destroy and kill, to kill and destroy, or to destroy and kill. That's the motto. And it needs to be called out. It needs to be called out 24-7, 365 days a year. And I intend to try to do my part. I intend to try to do my part to to shine the light on that. Because uh, it don't seem like nobody wants to join a boycott. I have put together two boycotts over the past two years. The first one was launched on February 2022. The second boycott was launched February 2023. And I tell you, as of today, I have less than 100 persons who have joined that boycott. So I don't understand why folks don't understand that if we simply would get 1 million or 2 million or even maybe somewhere up near the 20 millions emails that we could, uh, we could dish out a lot of pain to America. If we could get our 1 million, 2 million email addresses uh, signed up to the boycott website, we could dish out some daily pain to America. We could dish out some daily consequences to America daily. Every time they did something, we could activate just with a push of a button. Just how powerful that could be. Let me say that again. If we could organize 1 million, 2 million, even possibly 20 million emails on the boycott website, we could uh, push a button and activate daily every time they uh, every time they let the devil tell them to do something crazy. Until we get that ability, we're doing an injustice to our kids. We're doing an injustice to ourselves. I don't know how any of us sleep at night anymore. I really wonder how in God's name any of us that uh, are melanated, brown skin, dark skin person. How do we sleep at night knowing that we are losing this battle? Hands down. We're losing the battle getting locked up in record numbers. We're losing the battle and getting murdered and killed in record numbers. We're losing the battle and becoming homeless in record numbers. We're losing the battle in jobless. So will somebody please DM me if they know of any uh, battlefront that we are not losing on? Because I would like to know that information. Please send it to me in the DMs. 
But I want to say one more time, because I'm going to close out this short, 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 quick uh, audio. Because this message is for America, the bully. And this message is for all melanated persons who have brown and dark skin, who are tired of being bullied. They are, when you wake up in the morning and you look in that mirror, I want to ask, I want you to ask yourself, are you tired of being bullied? I want you to pause for a second or two while you're looking in that mirror and you're washing your face and you're brushing your teeth. I want you to ask that question daily. Am I tired of being bullied? Am I tired of being bullied? That's a very simple question. Aqualine, are you tired of being bullied? Yes, Lord, I am. I never, I never tolerated being bullied. I never got bullied, but uh, America has been bullying myself and my people for for thousands of years, huh? hundreds of years. That's what America should go down in history as the uh, number one bully in uh, world existence. America will go down in history as the number one bully in the history of the world. That is what they will go down in history as the number one bully. And uh, I need uh, folks to decide this hard question. I really need folks to decide this hard question. Please sit down and have that hard conversation with yourself. Are you tired of being bullied by America? Are you tired of your kids witnessing you being bullied by America? Don't think our kids don't see it. They see exactly what's going on. They may not be able to understand all of it. But they definitely know we're being bullied. Yes, they definitely know that we're losing this battle. But we don't have to be losing it. We don't have to be losing it. We simply have to come together with 1 million, 2 million, or even hopefully 20 million and push that button every day. You see how simple that will be? We don't have to be losing this battle. I need every person in my uh, ear distance of my voice to click my profile, the post that's pinned to my profile, and please send me on over there and uh, put your email address in to that boycott website so that we can rug reach 1 million, 2 million, or even 20 million emails ASAP, pronto, as soon as humanly possible. Let me say that one more time. Every person in my in distance of my voice, I ask that you uh, click the uh, post that's pinned to my profile. It will take you to the boycott website. One more time. Click the post that's pinned that's pinned on my profile. It stays pinned on my profile 24-7. So if you forget, just click on the profile and you're gonna it's gonna be this the first post that you see. Click that link, it'll take you to the boycott website. Put your email address into that box. Once you put your email into that box and hit submit, you should immediately go check your email because it's going to send you an email asking you to confirm. Until you confirm, you're not in the, you're not a subscriber on the boycott website. Once you do that, will you take time to send me a DM and say I I, I have subscribed? So I can uh, try to keep a, 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 a notepad record of those who are supporting the boycott. Can I say that one more time? Click my profile. Click the post that's pinned to my profile. It's going to take you to the boycott website. Put your email address into that box. After hitting submit, go to your emails. 
and then click the email and confirm that you have subscribed to the boycott website. I would appreciate that very kindly because I hope and pray that we can get 1 million, 2 million, and possibly 20 million emails on that boycott website. Every email or every person that that joins will be kept private unless you want to reveal it yourself. I would not reveal any person's name or email address, no way at all. I will be the only one managing that website myself 24 seven until the good Lord takes me from this world. And I will put instructions for my daughter uh, what need to happen when I pass so that you can be uh, have peace of mind that your email address will not be shared with anyone. I give you my solemn promise of that. I give you my word and my word is something that I take very serious. I was taught that at a very young age by my mother. She said, your word must mean something in life. And I never forgot that. I always understood the importance of giving a person my word and being a person of my word and being an honest person. So I tell you, I give you my word that your email address will be protected. It will not hold or or spammed. I simply need the email addresses so that we collectively can push a button and activate every time America get the notion to bully us. Every time someone get the notion that they want to be a a racist person today, we're going to push a button and we're going to activate on them. So I need I need the support of those who want to support the boycott so that we as a collective can combine our power and push that button any time that we need to push it. Because uh, I know we're all tired of talking. I know we are. I know we are very, very, very tired of talking. We have got to start making sure that we can uh, deliver a real threat of consequences and pain. And that can never end because evil is never going to go away. We're going to have to constantly be prepared to push a button so that we can have our human rights, our protection, our safety, our respect. That has to always be in place until the last one of us die. It can never be taken for granted. That has to always be in place. Somebody has to always be managing that button. When I die, I have to uh, pass it on to the next person. And then when that person dies, they have to pass it on to the next person. But somebody has to always be managing that button that needs to get pushed at any given time. So that these sorry human beings know that we mean business, that we are on alert, and that we can activate at a push of a button. I can guarantee you they're going to start changing up their tune. They're going to start thinking twice, three times, four times, five times before they let that devil tell them to do something crazy. It may not stop all of them, but it'll stop a large percent of them for sure. (laughs) Oh, yes, it will. See, that's human nature. See, a bully will keep on bullying until that person that they bullying uh, lets them know differently that they're not going to take it no more. And then they'll stop it and go on with their, go on with their merry business. But that bully is going to keep right on bullying until that person who they are beating up on show them that I'm not going to tolerate you beating me up anymore. Then... That's the day it's going to change. So that's where we that's the crossroad that we're at. Every Negro American, every melanated person from around the world, however you identify, Jamaica, Haiti, Bahamas, from the continent, 
in all four corners of the earth. This message is for all of us. I want us, those of us who want to unify and start delivering a threat of consequences and pain, we need to come together. If we know that that's the way we're thinking in our head, all of us need to come together. And we don't have to like each other. We don't have to be bosom buddies. We simply have to put our darn email address in that website and go on with our merry life. Just be ready to activate anytime we need to. I don't have to know you. I don't have to like you. It's important to properly dispose of unwanted medication or sharps. MedProject offers free and convenient disposal options near you. To learn more, call 844-MED-PROJECT or visit medproject.org. Get great savings throughout the store at Safeway. This week at Safeway, get value packs of USDA Choice Boneless Beef Tri-Tip Roast, untrimmed twin packs for $3.97 per pound with digital coupon. Plus, get Whole Signature Farms Turkey, 10 to 15.5 pound grade A for $8 each or 16.1 to 22 pound for $10 each. Member price with a minimum $50 purchase. Limit one per household while supplies last. Also this week at Safeway, has avocados are 10 for $10, member price. Visit Safeway.com or head in store for more deals. But I, I, it would be nice if we do get, if some of us be able to get to know each other. That would be a nice, wonderful thing. And maybe that will happen if it's meant to be. But I, I was hoping by building the boycott website, it could uh, remove all the disagreements and dislike that different persons have for each other, all of that could be pushed to the sideline because we wouldn't have to interact with each other. We would simply have to enter the email address and go on with our merry life. But we will still be able to uh, combine our collective power to deliver consequences and pain every time tree did something that we needed to activate, whether that is locking us up, whether that's making us jobless, whether that's making us homeless, whether it's something that's going on around the world, uh, especially around the world. Because folks seem to think that we don't, that's not a concern. That is a major concern, uh, at least for me. I can't speak for over 40 or 50 million people, but I can tell you without stuttering, it's not a day go by that I don't think about what other other um, melanated persons with my skin tone is going through. I don't get to see exactly everything that's going on or even half of it. I get to see bits and pieces of it on my timeline from time to time. That's as much information that I get, but that's enough to really cause me a lot of inner, internal pain. Just the amount of information that I do get, it causes me a lot of sleepless nights. And it, and I have that constant pain inside of me. On top of the, all the pain that I have carried inside of me that has been passed down from my ancestors who were slaves. I have all the scars of Jim Crow, uh, lynchings, burnings, hangings, all the terror, a constant terror that somebody wants to do you harm. Somebody wants to kill you. Somebody wants your life to be miserable. All of those scars are stacked on top of each other inside of me. But I never lose sight or I think, never not think about what is possibly going on around the world to anyone that has my skin color. It crosses my mind constantly. So uh, in closing, I would like to ask every person that would like to support the boycott to please click my profile and uh, 
go to the boycott website and put your email address in. And, uh, and also in closing, I would not be uh, joining too many uh, Twitter spaces. Seeing as how nobody seems to want to join my space, I'm just going to let it be fair. I'm going to let it be fair across the board. I have spent over eight months going into other people's Twitter spaces and supporting them and, and engaging in the conversation when I, when I felt like I could contribute something. But I have not gotten that back in the eight months that I've been on Twitter. So I'm just going to stay in my own little space, in my own little room, and let everybody else do what they, they feel like they want to do. Uh, I stay out of your space since, since you choose not to come in my space and support it. It's only fair. And I also really don't care to talk anymore. I really don't care to talk to anyone who do not want to support the boycott. So if 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 you cannot uh, let me know by proof and receipt that you have put your email address in that boycott website, we have nothing to talk about. Let me say that one more time, because I want that to be loud and clear. If you, that's your choice. It's not going to be any hard feelings, but I I have I have made up my mind that. I have no need to be talking to anyone that don't want to support the boycott and be able to uh, deliver a threat of real consequences and pain. Those are the only persons that I want to spend time talking to. Those persons who want to deliver a threat of consequences and pain. If you don't fall into that, into that category, we don't have anything to talk about. I, I, I have no ill feelings towards you. I have no hard feelings towards you, but I have no no reason to have a conversation with you. I own I only want to have a conversation about boycotting. <laughs> That's it. I want to figure out how we can use our collective power to bring pain and consequences to this uh, bully America twenty four seven. You see that that that's that's what my energy is going to be spent. Uh, I'm going to let everybody else decide how they want to spend their energy on whatever strategy or project that they're working on. I wish them, I wish them all the best. But this is, this is my project. My project is how to use boycotting to deliver a real threat of consequences and pain. That's what my energy and, and my time, I want to devote my time and energy to. So, uh, I need for you to let me know if if if, if you des- if you decide to support it, cause uh, I I wouldn't want to uh, not be a uh, be at a cold shoulder giving you the cold shoulder by not talking to you if 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 you had support had taken time to support the boycott I wouldn't want to make a mistake and, and give you the cold shoulder but I will if I don't know if I don't have a receipt or proof that you decide that you wanted to support the boycott. It's your choice. It's everybody's personal choice. Just like it's my personal choice to devote my time off of my life to this 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 this, this mission. It, 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 I, I would I, I I wish I could be spending my life doing something else. But I I I, I am deciding to sacrifice time off of my life to devote to to this boycott website. And so since I'm devoting time off of my life, I should be able to decide who I'm going to talk to and who I'm not going to talk to. And I have made that decision that I do not want to talk to any person that do not want to support that boycott. I can't say that enough because I am fed up with America bullying myself, my people around the world and descendants of slaves in America, especially descendants of slaves in America, because uh, we built, our ancestors built this country. Our ancestors laid down and died so, so that we would not have to start at ground zero. But here we are over 400 years later and we are at the bottom. Our ancestors did not make that sacrifice so that we will be at the bottom and that everybody else will be on top of us. 
our ancestors did not sacrifice getting hung and burnt and lynched and die so that everybody else could be on on top of their descendants they didn't they didn't they didn't do that you you wouldn't you you wouldn't want that for your ancestors you if you are born in Jamaica you wouldn't want your ancestors to lay down and die and make a sacrifice and, and you still end up at the bottom I know you wouldn't want that you would not want to live with that reality but that's the reality that the descendants of slaves are living with our ancestors came over here and went through hell for 246 years. They live they they lay down and die so that we could have the right to to learn to read and write. They sacrificed being lynched and burnt and hung. And some by the grace of God hung on so that they were able to birth descendants. It's just a, it's a, it's just it's a a miracle from God. It's a blessing from God that any of any of our ancestors made it out of slavery. So uh, this is a uh, Miss Edgy. I'm getting ready to end this room because uh, I'm 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 very darn upset today. I just made this recording for America, and when I end this room in the next uh, few seconds here, I'm going to reopen it, and it's going to still have the same title. But I'm going to be off the mic because I'm done talking. I'm only talking to folks who want to boycott America. And force them to stop bullying. Descendants of slaves, all melanated persons around the world, but especially in America. America need to get the message over here first, so that it can impact around the world. Cause it's time, it's time up. They have been a bully long enough, and it's time for us to let them know that we're not going to tolerate being bullied any longer. That's what I learned growing up in junior high school and high school, that a bully had to be made clear. It had to be made clear to the bully that it was not going to be tolerated. I was, like I said earlier, I was never a bully, but I did have the misfortune of uh, 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 of stopping other persons from being bullied because I was not going to tolerate somebody being bullied in front of me. <laughs> and folks got the message real quick when I was around. They made sure if they wanted to let the devil tell them to bully somebody, they made sure I was not around to see it. So this that's what 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 hit me today. I needed to come on my phone and send a message to America the same way I sent a message to the bullies in high school. It won't be tolerated. I hope that every one of us will look in that mirror and decide the same thing. I can only decide it for myself. I cannot decide that for every human being for over 40 or 50 million people. But I made that decision as a young child and I make it today going forward with whatever time I got left on this earth. America, you need to hear this message real loud and clear. Your bullying days are over. I'm, I, I'm, I'm putting a lot of faith that, uh, person that look like me when I look in the mirror are going to decide to unify enough of us are going to unify it may not be all of us no that's just that's not just that's just not how things happen nothing is that perfect but I think enough of us are going to come together and say enough is enough of your bully America we're going to push that button every time you decide to bully or kill or harm us in any way, form, or fashion, whether that's making us jobless, whether that's locking us up, whether that's killing us, whether that's making us homeless, whether whatever the case may be, you're going to be having the threat of us pushing that button. If we have to push it 24-7 then until you get the message and so be it. That's what it's there for. That's what I, 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 I'm on watch for. I'm on watch to push that button 24 hours a day to die about consequences and pain. That was the sole purpose of building the boycott website so that we could come together and push a button and activate at a moment's notice so that America could start getting the message that you have been too comfortable with doing your evil deeds 
I, I, I see now. I know our ancestors. See, that's that. That's the last thing I'm going to say. Our ancestors, they figured this out. <laughs> they were able to figure this out because see, they got Wall Street built, and my it hit me. I said, now how in God's name did they get Wall Street built? They didn't have armed guards standing by as they laid brick by brick, board by board. So they must have sent those evil people a message strong enough to back off of them to get Wall Street built. Because I know nobody won't stand by with armed guards and weapons as they laid brick by brick. Somewhere along the way, we lost that. We lost that in our DNA. Because they darn well got Wall Street built. Everybody talk about it. So how did they get it built? How did they make these sorry human beings back off of them long enough to build it? Well, we better hurry up and figure out that same thing to get these people back off of us and send them a strong enough message to understand that they, this will not be tolerated no more because they don't got too comfortable. Our ancestors did not go through everything, all the hell that they went through for us to be losing like this. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. We're losing on all fronts. And they are turning over in a grave. I know they are. I know every one of them have to be turning over in a grave to see their descendants not figuring out how to message to these sorry human beings to back off of them, that there will be consequences and pain. You need to hear that message. Every time you do something, you need to understand that there are going to be consequences. You are most likely going to feel some pain. I need to send you a threat and mean it. Not just a weak threat, but a threat that will be carried out. <laughs> Unless I die. But that threat will be carried out. And it's not being carried out right now. All folks are doing is doing a lot of talking. It's not stopping us from getting locked up. It's not stopping us from getting murdered. It's not stopping us from becoming homeless. It's not stopping us from becoming jobless. It's not stopping them from all the other multiple ways they are attacking us. So uh, yesterday was my final day. I hit the I hit the wall yesterday in, in different spaces. I went into different spaces, and after eight months and after two years of, of, of my life, I hit, the, I hit rock bottom. I can't do it no more. Two years of my life is gone. And what do I have to show for it? What in God's name do I have to show for it? But uh, anyway, Miss Edgerton, I hope you're having a good day. Hope you're safe out there and out of harm's way. But I had to make this short room. I had to close out my other room and, 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 and open this room, do a short recording so I can send a message to America and a message to my people, all of us who have melanated skin, whether you're in America as the descendant of a slave, whether you are Pan-Africa, Caribbean, continent, on any four corners of the earth. You need to look in that mirror and ask yourself, are you tired of being bullied? I hope that you'll be able to answer that question honestly and sleep at night. So uh, thank you for coming in. And I'm getting ready to shut it down. And then I'm going to reopen it back up and just let the room sit there in the hallway. So these uh, these subpar human, human beings can see the room title. 
I want them to deliver that to 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 they they clans. So I will be putting it back up, and probably going forward, I'm going to probably be using that title regularly until I get tired of looking at it. Because America needs to understand that uh, they're going to have to stop bullying uh, melanated persons, especially descendants of slaves and all melanated persons with brown and dark skin. They have just gotten away with it far too long. Far too long. And it's time for enough of us to come together and make sure that we deliver consequences and pain. That has to take place. That has to get done. That has to be priority one. Above all the arguments and and, and dislikes that we have for each other, that has to take priority over everything else that we're working on. Everything else that we're working on has to come second, third, fourth, or fifth. Priority one has to be that we have to make sure that we can deliver a threat of consequences and pain and make sure it take place and not let it be a, a false threat, but a real threat. So yes, I'm gonna sh- I'm gonna jump off this phone. I had not intended on getting on this phone today because I have checked out. I have checked out. I would not be going into room spaces because nobody wants to come in my room space. So <laughs> for over eight months, I I I, I have done my, I have done my part to support other rooms. So I'm gonna just stay in my room and let other folks do what they need. And want to do. They have made it very clear to me that they don't want to come into my room and support it. They had eight months to show me that. Eight whole months to show me that. So you have you have sent me a clear message and I have received it clearly with all due respect. <laughs> and uh, so I won't be going into room spaces I'm tired of supporting those who don't support me back. Uh, I don't know what devil told folks that that, uh, I'm going to let myself be uh, played for a fool or taken for granted. I don't know what devil told folks that, but I guess some devil got on their shoulder and told them that. But uh, that ain't never been a part of my life. I ain't never let myself be uh, played for no fool or taken for granted. None of these 60 years I've been on this earth. So uh, I'm just going to focus on my boycott. And I'm going to focus on keeping my room open on Twitter and other platforms. I'm just going to go about my merry business. And uh, I hope that I'll be able to link up with those who want to boycott. Those are the only persons that I want to talk to. If you're not boycotting, I don't want to talk to you. With all due respect. Uh, I wish you well with whatever you're working on. I have been very supportive of different things that other persons have work, are working on, but I did not get that in return. I've taken valuable time away from what I have a passion about to help support what other people have been doing for the past two years and have not gotten an ounce of that support in return. And I've just reached a breaking point that I need to focus on what I got into this fight with a passion for. And I let myself be sidetracked too long. And so now I'm going, I'm getting refocused. And I'm going to focus my time and energy on the boycott. And uh, let everybody else do whatever makes them happy. This makes me happy. And uh, that's what we do as human nature, do what makes us happy. So that's it. Uh, I don't want the recording to be too long, but uh, thank you again, and I hope uh, you take care.
With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby. Mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa. Take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.